Welcome back to Further Solutions Academy. Further Solutions Academy. Further Solutions Academy. Encourage us more. Just encourage us to share our video anywhere you see it. Encourage us to share it and also subscribe if you have not subscribed before. Help us to subscribe on it. Uh, in this uh, platform, we have over 180 videos on, the, on our platform. It means you can learn any topic of the choice as far as you are ready to learn. Any topic you are expected to be there and is not there yet, you can leave a comment below for that solutions academy. And at this point, if you want to encourage us more, you want to you want to make a little contribution. At this point, we need larger board, we need a better camera, and so on and so forth. You can message us on our WhatsApp number 2348034495990. That's our WhatsApp. You can also, uh, we have WhatsApp, WhatsApp, and also Telegram. Telegram. Please can meet, can meet us on this on these two platforms. Uh, we have platform. We have a Facebook page. We have a uh, Facebook group and we also have our channel on Telegram and also our channel, our group, our group chat on the Telegram also. Please you can join us anywhere and make your contribution. Okay, and in this video, I'll be walking you to McLaurin and uh, Taylor series. I will really base on McLaurin series here. Why, if time permits me, I'll move on to uh, Taylor series. Okay, but both of them are a bit similar. The only difference between them you see it now. Uh, very, very nice one to understand. You know, uh, in our elementary mathematics, we have known what is called series. You know, summation of a sequence, we call it series. That is what's well, I had it one, one, two, three, four, five. Now, when you now become one plus two plus three plus four, this one we call it sequence. Sequence. Now, why this one become a word series? Series. Let's take note of that. At the point of sum it up or doing something like this, we are talking about series. Um, I've told you earlier that we have GP and we have AP, which you can check on our elementary mathematics on the arithmetic progression and geometric progression. But this time around, because of that series, you must understand what you need to understand. When we are talking about um, McLaurin series, McLaurin series is a very simple series that have. Uh, when we talk about McLaurin series, now McLaurin series is just like we are talking about f of x equals to f of zero and uh, s always to power zero, uh, zero factorial plus x is power one, f prime of x of one factorial plus s raised to power two, f prime prime of x of two divided by two factorial plus f raised to power three, f prime prime of x. I mean, of this is uh, sorry, f of not sorry. I'm sorry, silly mistake. This is zero, a function of zero, all over three factorial, and um, and so on and so forth. You can run it to one, two, three, plus sorry plus and also plus continuing here to uh, uh, s is for n f prime of n f of zero all over n factorial n factorial plus continue now that is what is called series that's what is called theory i mean maclaurin series maclaurin series just like we are working on the uh in the point of function of what of zero of zero now it means we are working on the what function of what of zero. Now we all know that our complex analysis is always in this form. Uh, I okay, uh, R of E, I of K, which is this is complex analysis, which is called it exponential form. Now by having a radius of okay, having a circle of this form, and uh, we have something like this. Now this is going to be minus one. I mean this is going to be one minus one minus one this is going to be minus one so it's going to be one. one 
Now, it means my radius is what? Is one, is one. My radius is one. Um, I have told you that this is imaginary part, and this is called real part. We have done that, uh, that earlier, and now earlier video. Now, it means my z will be equal to what? I, uh, e of what? Of that. Very, very important is the of that. That is McLaurin series. McLaurin series, now, at this point, when we are working on it, this is for f of x. Now, when the f of, like f of, um, uh, if my f of x equals to 1 over by x, or x plus 1, which is uh, the same thing as x plus 1, all over minus 1. At this point, we must be very careful. We must know what is called binomial expansion of what? Of powering minus. For instance, let me give you an example on my, this thing, now. For instance, let me give an example on this form because this is where the technicality is. Don't forget that we are on uh, complex analysis. Take, take note of that. We are complex analysis. Please take note of that information. We are still now complex analysis. Now, let me give an example that will really explain or um, explain this part. Now, for instance, to um, to find the infinite series expansion. Let me just put it expand and radius of convergence convergence of the expression f of z equals to z divided by 1 minus 3 z of bracket 2 now, we want to find this particular problem. This is what we're having. Now, we must know what is called Taylor series, I mean, McLaurin series here. And how do I use my McLaurin series? It means I must be very smart in my expansion of polynomial, which is, I can say, solution to this problem. Now, it means I will say that, uh, first thing I will know is that uh, my f of x, my f of x, my f of z is equals to z all over what? 1 minus 3z or bracket of z. Can also be implied z bracket of 1 minus z minus 3z bracket of minus 2. This is as this. Now, what I'm now working on, this is binomial expansion. Please. This is binomial expansion of degree. We have done binomial expansion in our videos. Please, you can check on it. Is very very important now it means if i want to go on binomial expansion my binomial expansion of um by the binomial yes. binomial sorry i remember sorry of um uh, sorry the expansion of 1 minus 3 or bracket of minus 2 would be 1 minus 3 z or bracket of minus 2 would be equals to the first thing we do would be just like 1 plus 6 z uh, plus 27 z squared plus 108 z3 plus uh, what do you want? Oh my god, 1405 z 4 plus plus 1, 2, and so on and so forth. Now, how do I arrive at this? This is the expansion. Now, let me now show how it's being done. How it's being done. Now, how do I expand uh, this particular four problem? 1 minus 3 z bracket of what? Minus 2. It means I can say that it will be equal to the first one will be 1 which is uh, 
The second one will be plus. I will move on to minus two brackets and uh, multiply by minus z or bracket of one divided by one factorial. Divided by one factorial plus. The next one will now be what? I will have one um, minus two minus three. Yes, minus two minus three multiplied by it will now be um uh three three z no minus three sorry minus three z all bracket of squared divided by two factorial and the next one will be um the next one will be uh what is it going to be uh plus minus two minus two minus three minus four multiplied by um multiplied by what will be minus three z all bracket of three divided by three factorial and um plus the next one will now be uh minus two minus three minus four minus 5 multiplied by minus 3z or bracket of 4 back, divided by 4 factorial plus and so on and so forth and so on and so forth we have done this before in our binomial expansion if you need any help on it you can go and watch it we did the one of normal power which is when my the function the uh, uh, x plus y Powering, I'm respect. I'm working the rest of x and y now. When s plus y powering a number, you know, now and also there is one of uh, when s plus y is powering uh, inverse, which is an um, integer. Uh, we have it a uh, one. I mean, rational, which is n all over m. And we have done the one over when the, it is in this form, which is powering when my uh, we are having power of minus n. We have done all those things. You can check on those. Uh, problem to be very helpful if you can check that. Now, with the help of our multiplication and uh, when you multiply that and multiply that, this one will surely be 6. That's how we got our 6 there. This one will be what? Um, 9. I mean, 6. That will be 9. Yes. Yes. 6 and 9, which is uh, divided by 2 factorial, which is where you divide um, 50. 2754 by by two you have this and so on and so forth and so on and so forth um okay it we the next time will just be plus n okay plus minus one bracket of n um uh, n plus one minus three z bracket of um um Bracket of um, n plus divided by divided by n factorial divided by n factorial divided by n factorial and so on and so forth and so on and so forth. Please take note of that. All about um, that. When you multiply and you do your normal normal thing, you will have it in this form. This is the four fifty four divided by two will be what? 27. Also, this one will give us something like this. And I mean, this one will give us like that, and so on and so forth. That is what is called McClory set. Now, with what we are having on our, um, okay, we can now see that um, if I have it that way, we can now see that what z of um, of of one minus three z bracket of minus two can be equals to when I interact this function. Which is I'll be having z bracket of one plus um, six z plus twenty seven z squared plus one o eight z three plus four o five z four. This is zero. Now when I put my bracket, it means I'll be having which it will be equals to. Now when I try to expand it, I'll be having z plus z um plus 
z squared plus 27z3 plus 108z4 plus 405z5. It means the z will increase by what? By 5. By 5. Now, um, and so on and so forth. And so on and so forth, which is it can continue to plus to uh you can continue to um to, to be z plus one bracket of um z of n z of n plus one plus and so on and so forth and so on and so forth now it means a standard as a standard function this function of z i've told you at the beginning of a class by my z is always equals to s plus i z i y which is real and imaginary. That is why my function is always on what? On Z. The function is always on Z. Because of what? I know that my Z will give me what is this, which is a normal form, which I can also say that what? Cos X cos theta plus, um, okay. Cos theta plus I sine theta. And uh, which is this? We call it. Um, we call this one polar form. And also, we are move on to the next what we have. A, um, Z can also be equals to R I theta, I R theta, which is I've told you that my this is my R and and so on and so forth. Please take note of that information. Please take note of that information. Now. Okay, now let me move on to the next one. I think with this you can understand what is called McLaurin series. McLaurin series is a very nice series that uh, everybody needs to understand. It's a mathematician. Oh, this level is meant for mathematics students, not uh, not uh, those that are doing mathematics or mathematician, apply math, engineering students, and so on and so forth. It's not for it's not for elementary anyway. Okay. Now, if I have um, if I have something in this form, let me talk about the Lord Taylor series. Taylor series. Now, my Taylor series is quite different from McLaurin. It's quite different from McLaurin. The f the function is always function of the zero function of the zero. We are playing around with what f of zero. But this time around, you are playing with a uh, Taylor series is always equals to z. It will be equals to f of um, z. f of z naught. That will be it's z naught plus z minus z naught. Now it means I'm talking about what I'm trying to say here is z minus z naught, all bracket of zero. All raised to power is zero, and we know now in elementary mathematics, any for anything raised to power is zero is equals to one, except zero itself. Please take note of that. That is a condition except zero on the cell. Now f of of um, this one will be divided by zero factorial. This one will be divided by one factorial. F of z naught plus z. This is power of one. Z minus z naught. All bracket of one. 2 prime prime of x function of 2 divided by what? 2 factorial plus um, x to x naught bracket of 3 prime prime of divided by what? 3 factorial plus plus 1, 2, 3. Uh, please, when you are representing your series, in terms of a finite series, please make sure that your point, your your what you are working on must be 3.123. If you are having it in four, you are doing rubbish, or less than four, two, three, you are doing rubbish, it must be one, two, three. Please take note of that information. It means I'll be having z minus z naught bracket of what? Um bracket of um, I'm working on n and f of n z of naught divided by 
and factorial rules and so on and so forth. That is going to be now where where z naught is the center of the now is the center of the um, of the circle of the circle of convergent convergence of absolute value of x naught bracket of r which is equals to my r which is equals to my r and we all know that um, z minus z naught will be equals to r we know what is my r my radius of uh, e of theta now which is um i can answer my z can be equals to z naught plus r of e of theta now please note please take note of this information please note that note note mark learning series series Macron says is special special case of of Taylor of Taylor series Taylor series where my z naught is equal to zero. Where my z naught is equal to zero. Please take note of this information very, very well. They are very important. Okay, that is all about that. And uh, I think I will stay in Taylor series and the McLaurin series. The next series will be uh, Lawrence series. Lawrence series. Lawrence series is a quite different of this, but uh, I won't be able to do it on this video. It means I'll be doing it in our next video, which is a uh, Lawrence series and some proving by showing an, 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 a principal part and analytic, analytic parts. You know, that will be our next video. Uh, once again, let me round up for this video. I won't be able to go so far. Now, please um, just do your do us a favor. If you want to help us at this point, we need help, we need better camera, we need larger board, and we need a better place. We have over 180 videos on, on our on our platform, which means you can learn any topic of your choice which you want to learn. If at all you are expecting the topic to be there and it's not yet there yet, you can leave a comment below. Once again, further further solutions. Academy. Academy. Encourage us more. Help us to share our video and subscribe to it. Help us to share our and subscribe to it. Any topic you want to learn, you, our topics below uh, undergraduate, you are good to go. You are good to go. Most topics are available for you and they are serious. Like this particular one is a uh, we are on complex analysis, which is complex analysis. Complex analysis we have done the normal part of the complex. We are now on the series part, and after working on series part, we move on to residue. By residue, I think you can write any exam of your choice on complex analysis. Once again, subscribe and share to your friends. Thanks for watching.